Hello. I would like to demonstrate two scripts that I recently wrote within a couple hours for the goal of automating the PS5 pre-order on Target and Best Buy. So we're going to start with testing on a page on Target on a page which does have the pre-order button present. And this was what's going to happen. First, it's going to open the page. It's going to look for the pre-order button. It's going to click it, and it's going to go through the flow. Decline coverage, view cart, check out, and then it'll stop because Target doesn't allow, well, Target blocks automation login through this method. So I have to stop it and play an alarm and take control and continue it myself. So let's see what happens when this works, when it does find the pre-order button. Clicks the pre-order, goes through the flow, and stops at the login page with the alarm. Now, let's go through an example of the PlayStation 5 page, which does not have the pre-order button. What will happen is that it'll fail at step A, can't find the pre-order button. Then, because this is a while loop with a try, it's going to go all the way down to the bottom inside of here. It's going to play a sound saying it can't find it. Then It'll do a delay, 45 seconds, to where it'll start the whole loop all over again. The only time this loop finishes when it's done is when it gets down to the very bottom, which means it has to go through each of these steps. So I know that the PlayStation 5 page won't fail here, so let's see it in action. Move it over so you can see the print. No pre-order button available. No pre-order sound played. Said failed to step failed that step A, and you give it some time, the page will reload and do the whole process over. If it finds it, it'll stop and do the alarm and then, then I'll take over. So now for the Best Buy. Uh, the Best Buy has more steps. It's because uh, it allows the whole checkout process to complete, unlock target. And so what these are is XBath is where the, let's not get into this. So we're going to demonstrate. We're not going to do a noob guide here. So this is XBath. Then you wait for it visible. Then you declare the element and then you click the element, or you send keys to the element. This is where you pass in and change any of the parameters. Your first name, your last name, street, city, state, email, phone, credit card number, expiration, year, security code. And then the, the actual complete order button, which I have grayed out because this is a test run and I don't want to make an order. So. In the test run, we're going to go on the Marvel PS5 game, once again, because we know it has the PS5, or I'm sorry, it has the pre-order button available. Clicks delivery rather than pickup. Clicks continue as guests rather than login. And it clicks credit card rather than PayPal. Fills out all the information. Clicks continue. The credit card. And this is where it'll click to place your order. And you don't have to do nothing. Just sleep AFK and sleep. And then wake up to an email saying purchase. And uh, yeah, you need this dependency for the DA or the for the POM. I'm sorry, I'm not going to go over any of the Selenium, Chrome Driver, Java. It's not new, it's not very noob friendly, but um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks.